Namaste and welcome to this edition of The Right Stand. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we get you a mega exclusive, a mega exclusive here at CNN News 18. In the past, we have constantly highlighted the treatment of those living in East Turkestan, the Uyghur population, at the hands of the CCP. Multiple times, we have exposed the internment camps and the fact that the claims made by the World Uyghur Congress that nearly, nearly 3 million, but at least a million Uyghurs are facing and are being kept at these internment camps. There is an effort at a demographic genocide to eventually convert that entire region, make them, render them devoid of the original natural population in this territory which is called Xinjiang or the new territory by the CCP. This area is East Turkestan. That population, largely Muslim, has been denied namaz. More than 15,000 mosques have been destroyed and some have been turned into public utilities or sulap sochalayas, ladies and gentlemen. We've put it all out. They are being sent into these internment camps where they are being conditioned to think the Han Chinese way or the CCP way. So they're being told or taught to become civil. That's the kind of explanation that's being given. Largely, they are being brainwashed. But what if we tell you that even a pandemic or a policy to ensure that there is no pandemic can be weaponized, is being weaponized. That's the allegation being made against the CCP and the PLA by the Uyghurs themselves. That's the mega CNN News 18 right stand exclusive news break. CNN News 18 has this exclusive. This is Katsiar Investigations Editor Manoj Gupta. This comes from the new territory or Xinjiang. That's what it means. This is East Turkestan and that's what we're going to call this region. This is a massive mega crackdown on Uyghurs where it's just speaking. The CCP zero COVID policy is being weaponized is the allegation. The atrocities in the name of zero COVID policy, the videos are shocking. Protests have, that have come out. There are people coming out in protests. Uyghurs have been locked up inside their homes, denied basic medical help, medicines, and even food supplies. They are dwindling. People are actually starving. There are so many deaths due to starvation and suicides. By default, the population is being culled or reduced. The allegation is of demographic genocide or genocide using COVID itself or the zero COVID policy. People are being forced to do illegal work. Health workers is are what they are saying. That people are being forced to do illegal work because of the zero COVID policy and the CCP does not care because all those who are dying are Uyghurs, a population they either want to wish away, a population they want to change, convert into the PLA way, the CCP way, the communist way, or a population who they believe are inferior to the Han Chinese race and that's why they need to be civilized. In this exclusive news break, we are also going to get you voices that are now standing up to these atrocities. The location is Turkey in Istanbul. Beg your pardon, location is Istanbul in the nation of Turkey. Uyghur groups, nearly 3,500 Uyghurs have come out to protest against what they are calling the hunger genocide of the CCP. They are saying you are starving our population and the garb of the zero COVID policy to ensure there are more deaths and of course, there is a reduction, reducing of the population of Uyghurs in East Turkestan. The protesters very, very angry, openly coming out and condemning what they call, these protesters are calling hunger genocide by the CCP and that too in the garb of COVID control. Huge number of them have stepped out. These are the protests where they are coming out and openly saying what you are doing to the people of East Turkestan is inhuman. 
this entire aspect of weaponizing a zero covid policy there's been huge resistance to this zero covid policy across various provinces in china because many many chinese people have suffered because of the zero covid policy it looks very very arbit and and the ccp is at pains they have not yet been able to control covid at all but they still want to enforce it but are they using it for devious means in this region which they want to convert to totally control they are also building a sixth nuclear facility in this area in this in the xinjiang region strategically is very important for them so is the pla and are the pla and ccp weaponizing a zero covid policy is what we ask ccp targeting uyghurs is the hashtag nk sood former officer rnaw with us this evening andrew kp leong international and independent china strategist based out of hong kong with us dr vai lavad he's a former president of the fcc south asia and senior journalist with us and abdul hakim idris rushan he's the executive director of the center for uyghur studies and he's also an author Namaste to all our guests thank you very very much for joining us on this broadcast Abdul Hakim sahab i'm going to start with you this protest in Istanbul the claim is of a hunger genocide but the ccp has said that they have followed this zero covid policy strategy across all their provinces so even in wuhan people were shut down locked up in their homes even in henan the same thing happened so wherever there's been a covid outbreak this is what they have followed why is this claim of a hunger genocide being made uh first of all i'll i'll thank you to, to give me this opportunity to explain the chinese communist regimes uh crimes against humanity genocide on uyghurs uh as, as you said uh, the chinese policy on covid is harsh but the, the, in istrukstan what i are are they uh, doing is racist national communist ideology against uyghurs mm. we we get the uh, information the news in the uh, ili area mm. there are han communist chinese lockdown they get the food mm. they get the medicine they are uh, treated very well mm. but the uyghurs left our food the, Now, not second uh, class citizens mm. there are uh, look like not a human being for the uyghurs mm. okay well if you if you looked in istrukstan's uh, map you will see in south part of the istrukstan where is the hotan mm. kashgar mm. yarkand mm. those areas are more uyghur population mm. we mm. we get no news from there uh, covid uh, uh, issue Hmm. To, to 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 kill on the let the Uyghurs die without hmm. medicine and the, without food hmm. uh, and the, this is uh, what we call in almost five years hmm. and I explained in my book Menace hmm. Chinese Colonization of Islamic World and Uyghur Genocide in detail hmm. how the China mastering propaganda hmm. and the same time they using we uh, 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 we have the zero covid policy but they let them many many thousands and thousands of Uyghur people die without food and the medicine hmm. if you look in you and uh genus hmm. i create some circuit i let them die, you know the exact uh, 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 issue happening in district stuff hmm. So you are saying what you are alleging is that there is brazen racism and partisanship that's being followed. The Han Chinese, even though it's locked down or the under the zero COVID policy, medicines, food supplies are being reached out to them. But the Uyghurs, they are being deliberately denied any of these supplies. So it's not even second-class treatment. It's like being treated as if they don't even account for or they don't even exist.